ओम शांति ट्वेंटी अक्टूबर 2018 फ्राइडे टुडे ब्लेसिंग इज मे यू बी त्रिकालदर्शी एंड बिकम एन अनशेकेबल एन इमूवेबल महावीर बाय कंसिडरिंग देयर टू बी बेनिफिट इन एवरीथिंग Do not look at any situation with the vision of one aspect of time but look at it while being trikaldarshi instead of asking why or what consider there to be benefit in whatever happens continue to do as baba says and it is then up to baba and his work move along as baba makes you move for benefit is merged in that by having this faith you will never fluctuate let there be no waste thought in your dreams or in your mind and you will then be called an unshakable and immovable mahavir we often heard this word trikaldarshi and baba says look at every situation whilst being a trikaldarshi there are three words hidden in this word three kal darshi three means three kal means time and darshi means vision or darshan so three aspects of time to see so whatever happens baba says look at every situation every event with the vision of this three aspects of time instead of asking why what consider that there is benefit hidden in every situation and continue to do as baba says and then it is up to him and his work move along as baba makes you move for benefit is merged in that by having this faith you will never fluctuate let there be no waste thoughts in even in your dreams or in your mind and then you will be called immovable unshakable mahavir so what does it mean when baba says act as a trikaldarshi what are the deeper meaning of this thing there are three aspects of time past present and future so baba is saying whenever anything happens in life any event any situation any circumstances look at this from three aspect of time or know that each and every event which is happening has got a past has got a present and has got a future for example suddenly somebody comes and tries or he shouts at us we are not doing anything we haven't done anything we do not know that person for example we are coming in train and we are sitting in our compartment and suddenly all of a somebody comes and starts shouting now how do we look at it while being trikaldarshi there must be something past because as we saw yesterday there are no coincidences in this drama everything is pre-planned predestined and everything has a reason nothing is causeless the first law of karma is cause and effect so there has to be some past i must have done the same with him that's why this thing is happening now the other thing is present how do i react 
is my reaction out of anger that is something known as in psychology defense mechanism defense mechanism we get angry exacerbated exacerbated exasperated we get fearful we get annoyed irritated or we try to fight with that person or we try to prove that person is wrong or we try to revenge avenge go for tit and tit for tat philosophy anything so these are all the defense mechanism or blame game or self victimization anything so the present situation should be dealt with patience all the difficult situations would become smooth and easy if patience is brought otherwise one becomes excited agitated disturbed and the other aspect is future everything that is happening in the universe has got effect in future whatever that we do every karma every karma will bear its fruit in future if suppose i also become angry with that person that person might go away but my anger has created a subtle sanskar of anger within me and now this anger will manifest at some other place in front of some other soul in some another manner so look at each and every event with these three things everything that is happening has got a past everything that is happening what is my reaction in the present and everything that's happening has got future aftermath so what is that future effect or aftermath depends on my dealing of the situation handling of the situation now so all the three things are important that's why baba is saying be trikal darshi there is one avyakta murli where baba has said three things about trikal darshi 18969 18th 969 baba said remember three things if you want to become trikal darshi first is swa self second is sayam that is discipline and third is samay that is time remember these things and you will become trikal darshi remember your own self who i am what i am what is my real nature what is my original nature to remain situated in the original nature helps one to become trikal darshi to remember sayam restraint control that one moment of control is important as one moment of uncontrol leads to downfall in the similar manner one moment a jiffy of uncontrol leads to the downfall if you go and visit all the prisons and jails of the world and we meet all the prisoners over there you will find that the crimes they have committed all the crimes they have been committed in just 5 minutes 10 minutes otherwise they were very good people just that 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 1 minute some things are done and those were the moments of unrestrained unbridled spirit those were the moments of uncontrolled passion had they controlled their passion or had they controlled their anger the crime would not have happened causing them lifelong imprisonment or punishment so sayam and third is samay 
Sva, Sayyam and Samay. With these three things you become Trikaldarshi. Remember what time is this. Remember where I am, what time is going on. For the world, this is Kalyuk, but for us, this is Confluence Age. So each and every second of the Confluence Age is so important, we cannot afford to waste time. Time wasting is such a vice We do not know how much time we are wasting in chit-chatting, in nonsensical things, in moving here and there, in talking gibberish and rubbish things. In one of the classes, Jagdish Bhai has mentioned that Brahmins waste time in three things. Entirely new viewpoint. First, impression. Second, depression. And third, suppression or repression. Half of the time is wasted in impressing somebody. Half of the time is wasted in correcting the wrong impression we had on others. Earlier we showed that we are yogis, but then somebody got to know that we are not very good yogis because they caught us red-handed. So half of the times of Brahmins is spent in impression either creating new impressions or impressing somebody or deleting the bad impression which we had and now we want to show that now we are not like that we are this so half of the time is spent in impression the second half is spent in depression somehow the spirit is depressed and this depression is deeper what the depression worldly people have got is very small they are not getting job. What is that depression? But we are not achieving the highest. That is our greater depression. Who are the greatest dissatisfied souls in the world? You know, Brahmins. Why? Look at the dissatisfaction of the world. Worldly people. Why they are dissatisfied? Because somebody has jilted, somebody has left. Because they are not getting wealth, not getting property, not getting job. What is this stupid dissatisfaction? Look at the great dissatisfaction of Brahmins. We are highly unlimited dissatisfied souls on this planet earth. Because our dissatisfaction is so high. Their dissatisfaction is nothing in front of us. The wife has left. What is that stupid dissatisfaction? Children are not helping. Or they are poor. Or not getting job. Or not getting house. Not getting car. Not getting wealth. Is this a sort of, what sort of dissatisfaction? We are the real dissatisfied soul because we are not getting peace, eternal peace. In today's Murli Baba said, India has become bankrupt of peace, purity and happiness. India has become, once upon a time it was solvent. Now it has become insolvent. Solvent is a stage when one is prosperous and is able to pay off all his debts. But now, India has landed up in such a paupery, such a poverty, such an abject poverty, that it is called insolvent, totally bankrupt of peace, purity and happiness. That is the stage India has come into. So, the divine dissatisfaction is necessary, but that propels, that impels us to go further ahead. Don't become absolutely complacent, absolutely 100% satisfied. So everything ceases, everything stops. At least as regards Purusharth or effort, one should be divinely, intensely dissatisfied, restless that I have to go ahead. I have to do so many things. Nothing has been done till now. So many experiences are yet unaccomplished. The sea is yet uncharted, untrodden. So, for Trikal Darshi, in that Murli of 18th 9, 69, Baba said, have these three things. Remember self, remember Sayyam, and remember Samay. Remember time, remember Kal. Then you become Trikal Darshi.
Now we will see a few other things about Trikaldarshi from this blessing. When do we become Trikaldarshi? Or how to become Trikaldarshi? Trikaldarshi means knower of three aspects of time. Knower of three aspects of time or one who sees three aspects of time. Who is not just seeing the present because if you see only the present probably you will get disturbed, upset as Baba said in yesterday's Murli. But when you see something, the three aspects, probably you will not get disturbed. So, the first thing to do for becoming Trikal Darshi is sit atop. Sit atop. Atop means go and sit at a very high stage. Because if suppose, for example, this is Naki Lake, and we sit here, we stand near it, probably we will not see everything. If you want to see each and every, the panoramic view of Naki, you have to go on the top of some hill and sit there. So go on the top and sit somewhere. Then you can see things as they are. Otherwise, some of the things would be missing because few things are being covered by something so you can't see what's happening there or what's happening far away if you want to see each and every view yeah, entire thing about you have to go up so the first thing in order to become Trikal Darshi is make your stage high sit on the high platform of stiti of stage and there you see things and then you can see how things are Otherwise, looking at only one aspect of thing will make one depressed. Because this thing is very disturbing. What is that has happened? But if you see everything, then it's okay. This uh, Usha Ben had often mentioned, she often mentioned in all those shibirs about uh, Rajok Shibir uh, that when she went somewhere and uh, she was called in one family for some satsang and she went and there was a small child there and uh, he was watching television and when they started chit-chatting he said, can you please calm down for some time? This is an important last episode going on. And she said, okay. And that child and everybody of the family was watching that serial, some episode. And they were so excited to see that while uh, the Sushaven was not understanding anything because she had not watched other episodes. So it was a climax event. So for others it was very interesting because some secret was getting revealed at the end. While who has not seen other things for her, for that soul, it is ordinary thing. It is an ordinary event. There is nothing of excitement. But the person for example, it's a horror movie and uh, or horror or some mm, murder or something and for three hours it is not known who is the murder, murderer. And last five minutes it is revealed that he is the one who is the murderer. And nobody has ever thought that he is the one who can commit such a crime. And everybody in the family is excited, oh he is the one. But imagine a person who has just come and who has not seen that three hours movie and just sitting there for five minutes for that person it is okay, somebody is killed and he is murdered. So there is no excitement. So, to see the past, to so see the present and truth for seeing the future, one should be sitting up top. From here, one can see things as they are. This is the first thing. Second is enter the zone of timelessness. Enter the zone of timelessness. If you want to know three aspects of time, you have to enter the zone of timelessness. Where there is no time. Which is that zone? Where is subtle world? Or supreme abode? Where there is no time. You can make a list of what things are not there in supreme abode. <laughs> But sleep is a stage of unconsciousness. There is a difference in sleep and samadhi, they say. Sleep, one is unconscious. Sleep, one is forgetful of everything. 
even samadhi one is forgetful but samadhi they say is a stage of supreme consciousness while sleep is a stage of unconsciousness that is only difference when both the stages person is detached from the world but this is full wakefulness this is absolutely unconscious person is not conscious here so enter the zone of timelessness in order to see three aspects of time such a paradox if you want to see time enter into timelessness and make a list of things this is a good homework for all of you make a list of things which are not there in paramdham one time no time no space no maya no body no sound no sound no actions because this is a which world silence world no sound no voice no song nothing no movement no motion no no bondage no bondage because it is a land of mukti it is a mukti dham so no bondage it's no thought no thought no bondage no action no speech no karma nothing a soul is in the no five elements of nature five elements of nature are not there so no air no fragrance what about light what about light it's self luminous swayambhu it's self luminous it is not the light of sun moon or star na tad bhasayate surya na shashanko na pavak यद गत्वा निवर्तंते तद धाम परम मम ओ अर्जुना लिसन दैट वर्ल्ड इज विदाउट सन विदाउट मून एंड विदाउट स्टार एंड वंस यू गो देर यद गत्वा निवर्तंते तद धाम यू डू नॉट कम बैक तद धाम परम मम दैट इज माय बोर्ड माय सुप्रीम ए बोर्ड सो परम धाम इज विदाउट लाइट ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड इट हैज गॉट इट्स ओन ऑटोनोम वॉट यू कैन से Oh, no what is that autonomous body you know so in the same way autonomous light they have their own special light It's not the light of this world so no light no what about darkness there is always light but there is no light we said different light so in param dham there is no noise no body no bondage no sound no space no time we are entering into the timeless zone no directions east west north south do you have such directions there no directions we just hanging there like that so entering into that stage of timelessness one becomes trika one can see things as trikaldarshi so second is that third in order to become trikal darshi be a detached observer without becoming detached observer one cannot become trikal darshi just as baba is a ocean you can again make a list of what ocean he is is a huge list huge list it can be made he is a ocean of tolerance he is a ocean of detached observership he is a ocean of akarta abhokta asochta he is the ocean of uh, patience he is the ocean of detachment he is the ocean of good wishes he is the ocean of sweetness he is the ocean of don't tell those routine ones <laughs> he is the ocean of introspection silence he is the ocean of silence and he is the ocean of solitude he is a deep he is a silence embodied he brings his silence when he comes on this earth He is ocean of trikal darshi. Yeah, he is a happiness. Those all things are there. So you can make a list of things. What ocean he is? Why you want to make this list? Because while he's doing yoga, think that he is the ocean of detachment. I am also ocean of detachment. He is the ocean of sakshi bhav. I am also ocean of sakshi. He is the ocean of patience. I am also ocean of patience. Just as he is, I am. what he is i am the same for this thing 
He is detached from this world. I am detached from this world. So he is so detached. In one second to be loving and to be detached is what? To become? Tapasvi. That is today's slogan. In one second he is detached, another second he is he is loving. So that is to become. Tapasvi doesn't mean to go in the jungle and to turn upside down in that Shirshasan. That is not being Tapasvi. Tapasvi is something, he is here. At one moment you are here, at another moment you are not there. And at one moment you are loving, at the moment you are detached. It's all internal play. Tapasya. So the third thing is, be detached, observe, then you become Trikal Darshi. Now these are the three things. Now the three things are from the Murli. For becoming Trikal Darshi, Baba said, see things as past, present and future. As we said before, see every event as past, present and future. Nothing is happening without cause. Everything that has happened in life has a deep meaning connotation behind it. A secret. Baba is the ocean of secrets. He is the ocean of secrets. He is carrying so many secrets within him. But he doesn't spill the beans. He doesn't tell everything. He will tell you a few things. He is the ocean of mystery. He is the ocean of secrets. Is the ocean of <laughs> listening. <laughs> he has a unlimited patience to listen to each and every rubbish of yours and each and every good things of yours. So, see everything as past, present and future. All things that are happened, physical, mental, intellectual, spiritual, economical, financial, social, have got some has got some or other karmic account. That is why it has happened. Otherwise, it would, not, it would not have happened. And it's good that it has happened. So, see everything as with these three things. The next is, Baba is saying here, do as Baba says. Do as Baba says. Then you will become Trikal Darshi. Whatever he is saying, do that. That's it. Kiss mat, you know. Kismat means whose mat? Kismat is whose mat? It is Srimat, then the Kismat is in your hand. Otherwise, you are at the mercy of Kismat. You are at the mercy of your fate. But when you walk in Srimat, the Kismat is in your hand. So, do as Baba says. The next thing Baba saying is saying in this Vadan is see benefit sixth is see benefit in everything welfare benefit some bonus some dividend some advantage is hidden no matter the worst of the situation life has presented but is there is some hidden benefit in that because of our tunnel vision we are not able to see that vision that benefit but everything life has presented has got some benefit, some bonus, some dividend, some advantage, some welfare, some perk. And the last is, seventh, know why, what, waste thoughts, even in your dream or in your mind. So these are the seven things to become Trikal Darshi. And when you become Trikal Darshi, you become unshakable, immovable Mahavir, Achal Adol Mahavir. First, go on the top and sit there. And from there, see things. And then you are able to see things vividly, distinctly, as they are. You get a panoramic view. Otherwise, you have only lopsided view, only one view, only lateral view. You want to see the things as a whole. That's why, when you want to see things as a whole, you connect the dots you go on the top and sit and the topmost stage is the stage of the mind high stage go there travel soul conscious stage the more body conscious we are the less we are able to see things clearly the more confused we become the more soul conscious we are we are able to see things as they are so enter sit on the top 
सेकेंड टू बिकम त्रिकाल दर्शी टाइमलेसनेस Try to stay in that timeless zone to see three aspects of time. Third, be detached observer. Practice detached observership, uh, observership throughout the day. Whilst walking, just stand on the road, stand stand by the road, and see how people are traveling, going here and there. In the similar manner, this body is a tree, and these thoughts are birds. And I am seeing these birds coming and sitting on the mind. and then flying away i do not touch them thoughts good thoughts bad thoughts whatever i am detached so detached observer self will help you to make trikal darshi the next is see things with these three things whatever that has happened wait for a while and see what should be the past as baba said yesterday when somebody says something do not get upset immediately for in after some time you may get upset but don't get upset immediately <laughs> so by time take time and think what is the past of this suppose somebody comes and suddenly start shouting at you insults you wait and do what think see the past you can go you know there is there was one uh, serial english serial good doctor the good doctor so there was a young boy there who was having some extra knowledge of things extra powers suppose he sees the hand he sees the internal veins if there is a heart he sees the internal what is the pumping of the heart if somebody it is shown that one boy he was at the airport and something fell on one person and that boy got unconscious and suddenly this boy came who is just a intern who is not a surgeon but he is such a surgeon that he knows where are, which is, where is the artery and which is the vein from the distance he knows what is happening inside suddenly something flashes inside him and he sees everything what is within such extra power he has so you know you can also create such powers to see what is happening within he sees the how heart is pumping he says he takes that boy he does the tracheostomy image emergency tracheostomy make with splits and that boy starts breathing and takes that boy to the hospital and the boy is taken for surgery and he does all those use the some pipes and drains and he puts it and the boy is saved and in between the surgery he says please get a 2d echo done of this boy he says why 2d echo his heart is normal ecg is normal he says no it is not normal there is something wrong please get a 2d echo immediately because this boy a doctor he sees something more than what others see and he is little uh, he has suffering from autism he's suffering from sun syndrome so these are some of the powers one gets so three aspects of time then see benefit now before that see benefit and do as baba says see benefit and last no waste thoughts why what why this is happening to me why this is baba said do not use the chisel hatoda of why and what to break the mountain of paristhiti don't use this otherwise fly for example if there is a helicopter and we go from here to mount abu uh, abu road how easy it would be because and imagine the load below is blocked who has the problem the persons who are going by road they have problem because road is blocked they have to wait a huge queue of car and you can't go but is there any problem for the one who takes an helicopter from here and tries to go down yeah what tracking but which is the fastest way which is the fastest you fly over the circumstance or paristhiti so this is what is to become trikal darshi om shanti